what is up guys welcome back to another video yes i'm wearing pajamas whenever i get home from work i always just put on pajamas i don't know i just do anyway um today we're gonna do a little q a video like i said we would in the last one so i'm gonna read off the questions that uh, i gotta stand on the other side of the truck are you guys gonna have sun glare the whole time but uh we're just gonna read off some questions that you guys asked and try my best to answer them. I appear to have ran over <laughs> a chair. That's okay though. Um, yeah, so we're gonna start reading off the questions I asked on the last video and on Instagram. Also, before we get started, shout out to Up North Outdoors. If you guys don't watch him, you probably should, but I ordered that sticker like, I don't know, last week and it's already here, so freaking pretty good shipping times on that kind of stuff, um, from him at least, so yeah, alrighty. Um, we, we, first we're gonna go over, alright, this is the most commonly asked question, I'm gonna get it right out of the way, in the beginning here, is, well, it was asked by Master One Solo, it was asked by... Well, I'll just put your names on the screen for the people that asked that question, which is, when am I going to do a solid axle swap? So, don't get me wrong, guys. It's not that I don't want to do a solid axle swap. To do a solid axle swap, it's just that. Well, how do I put this? I don't make any money from doing these videos. Okay, <laughs> so pretty much, I'm I'm funding the channel and the truck build and stuff like that from working my normal job because believe it or not i have a normal job there's no way that i would have been able to build this truck i would not have had enough money if i was just going off of youtube revenue because well <laughs> i'll show you that uh i don't make shit off of youtube just in case anyone was wondering there's my adsense payments Last month it was 161, and then the current balance is 154, so that'll be, uh, that was two months ago, and that was last month. So, yeah, 154 bucks. That basically pays for, well, the gas to, <laughs> the gas to make the videos, and about 50 cents an hour while I'm making the videos. So, pretty much everything it's, it's coming right out of my pocket, you know what I mean? Like, this isn't a big channel, so I'm, I'm funding everything not from YouTube, basically. I'm not, I'm not making enough... Making the videos does not make enough to upgrade the truck, is basically what I'm saying. So, with the whole solid axle swap thing, like, uh, last month I spent 1400 on a bumper. The month before that, I spent 2800 on wheels and tires, and stuff like that, so spending money over and over and over it really um makes it hard to try to save money so and also <laughs> this this month i'm going to be doing the exhaust on the truck i mean i know i didn't i didn't give you guys an actual time frame but i'm probably going to spend at least another thousand dollars getting the exhaust done uh because that's the most uh kind of the most requested thing for me to do is to get rid of that shitty exhaust pipe and do that so that that's the reason why i haven't been just doing everything all at once because quite frankly if the videos were making enough money for me to do upgrades on the truck like if the videos actually help at like any a bit like any bit making money to help upgrade the truck then i would be i'd be doing everything i'd be buying the rear bumper i'd be buying everything but it, that's just not how this works so <clears throat> I need to, you know, make money to put money into the truck and into the channel. So if I if I just keep throwing money at the truck, honestly, it's it's not really gonna benefit me a whole lot right now. <laughs> just spending thousands and thousands of dollars on stuff that I could just save up and wait to do and be be comfortable with doing it instead of spending money that I shouldn't really be spending. Um, so that's why the solid axle swap hasn't been done yet. I know it's a long answer to a simple question, 
but the whole answer is money if i had a shit ton of money then yeah but <laughs> i gotta plus also if i do that then the truck will be out of commission for a while and uh, while i'm doing it all and while i'm figuring out what i need to get and doing everything like that which i know what i need to get it's just scrap them so it's gonna be a bit i'm eventually gonna do it don't worry it's eventually gonna happen but yeah not until i'm done with these tires and until yeah i need to be done with these tires first because <laughs> it just it doesn't make any sense to be spending 2800 bucks now and then spend another five grand next month and get and basically lose the 2800 that i just spent on this especially when the videos aren't making me any money so uh, we're just gonna do little things for now. We're not gonna go dropping five grand. We're gonna do the exhaust. We're gonna do a rear bumper probably. We're gonna do stuff like that. We're gonna do wheeling videos. Solid axle swap will come eventually. All right, now that we have that out of the way. Also, the other part to that question was, is it's lying for the dog that's caught on my roof. Anyway, um, he runs on that thing. The other part to that question was, uh, why don't why haven't I re-geared the truck and the whole reason for that is because it honestly doesn't need it like it's it's not all that bad I really did not notice a difference when I went from the 35s to the 38s like it's a little bit more sluggish but it's definitely not it's not sluggish at all like this thing will still light the tires right up so and if I'm climbing a big hill, I just give it a little bit more gas. So it's it's really not all that bad. It's not as bad as you'd think. Um, it doesn't, it's not, it's not fast by any means. Don't get me wrong, it's not a fast truck. I'm not trying to say it's a fast truck. It's, just, <laughs> it's not, it's not as slow as you'd think. So it does, it does pretty good and it can definitely get out of its own way. So it'd probably still beat the Honda, honestly. And my bumper is broken. I gotta really cut that off before it splits more. <laughs> I know it was a really long answer, but uh, Ben Turner, I just answered your question. What am I doing? Redoing the exhaust? That is as soon as possible, probably the end of this month. Uh, Master One Solo asks, "Will you get a diesel?" I actually don't need a diesel right now. I have enough cars as it is. Um, I would like to get this same truck, but in a diesel, but. Right now, I mean, the whole financial standpoint of it, just me going out and buying another truck just to buy another truck, really doesn't make a lot of sense. So eventually, yeah, I'll, I'll own a diesel, but not not right now, and probably not in the super near future either, because, well, money. I'm not, I'm not rich, so <laughs> definitely not by any means rich. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'll put it on the screen. Uh, are you going to get smoked headlights and a black grill? Um, eventually. Eventually I'll do something like that. I probably I won't be smoking any lenses, that's for sure, because it's illegal around here. But when it comes to blacking out all of the chrome, I know a lot of people want me to do that. I just basically need to decide. See, because I don't really like paint painting over chrome, so if anything, I could just Plasti Dip it. I mean, I know that's probably not what you guys want to hear, but I could just plasti dip all this chrome and all the chrome around here. But then, see, I'd have to get new mirrors, so it's a, it's a, it'd be a lot of stuff that I'd be doing. I'd have to get new mirrors. I'd have to get a new rear bumper. So probably the stuff won't get blacked out until, well, I'd have to change this too. I'd have to paint these. So I'd have to paint a lot of stuff because once I once I black out the grill then the other parts of chrome are just going to look extremely out of place, like the antenna and stuff like that. So that's why that hasn't been done yet, because I don't want everything else. Like if I black out the grill right now, everything else is going to look out of place. So some of you guys might argue that it already looks out of place. But if I black out that grill, it'll be way worse. So that's the reason why that has not happened. Um, eventually, yeah, that kind of thing will probably happen, but... Then I'll have to see if there's this too, the chrome, so, yeah. So, Ben Madrigal 
I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But he asks, what's your favorite current gen diesel? So, obviously, obviously I like Ford, so it'd have to be... Man, what do they have in those things now? Six sevens? They have six sevens right now? I don't really pay attention to new stuff. Mostly because I can't afford it. But whatever the new Ford Power Stroke is. I mean, <laughs> the Duramaxes sound pretty cool. But, I mean, I'd, I'd like to keep it Ford. So, probably a 6.7. Rob asks, uh, where can you get that orange color? So for this color is J8 and it's like the name is Tangier Orange. Like I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how you spell it. Tangier Orange. So that's where you can get it. You can get this color at any place that sells paint. You just tell them the paint code is J8 and they'll whip you up a badge of that stuff. Um, they might not be able to get it in Bedliner if they don't carry the bedliner product but that is that is the paint code and actually this is the color that it's supposed to be that orange is the j8 color this color is slightly different because of how it mixes in the bedliner it doesn't come out exactly how it's supposed to so keep that in mind so master one solo asks when are you going to get an actual tow hitch instead of just the ball on the bumper the answer to that is probably never because I don't tow with this truck and I really have absolutely no reason to put a tow hitch on it. Um, I actually have nothing to tow either. I don't have a trailer. I don't have anything like that. So I really don't need a tow hitch, honestly. Okay, and last but not least, Jacob D asks, um, what vehicles have I owned in the past and what would I like to own in the future so this is another kind of long question uh, first we'll just go over what I've owned in the past so obviously the 96 F-150 I currently own because it's right here um, fun fact <laughs> these bias flies if they're hot out you can move the truck like they're not really all that hot right now but the tires flex and you can move the whole truck back and forth <laughs> so it'll go like this if it's hot enough out back to that uh we got the 96 f-150 we have a 86 firebird right there uh over there behind the garage we have a 86 trans am which is actually my first car um it was actually my second car but the first car that i paid for myself uh, so the Firebird, the Trans Am, we have the Shipbox Ford Ranger over there, which actually isn't even in my name, so I don't know if you could say that it's mine or not. Uh, we have the 2012 Honda Civic, which is the daily driver. Uh, before that, I had a 2009 Honda Civic, but I totaled it because someone ran through a red light and I T-boned them, and yeah. I have a video on that. If you guys want to see what the car looked like after I went through an intersection and T-boned a guy, or well, he went through the intersection and I hit him uh, on a red light. He was on a red light. Um, I have a video of that or my Instagram, I believe. I don't actually. I don't think my Instagram has a picture of that, but it's on the channel. So um, we had that. I had a '97 Jeep Wrangler, which I wish we still had, and. Um, I had a 99 Chrysler 300M, which was my actual first car, and I'm pretty sure that's it, and I don't think I'm leaving any out, but this kind of counts as two because the truck was completely different when I got it. It was pink and it was low, so, I mean, that, that could count as two, but really it counts as one. But the Chrysler, dude, I kind of, I don't miss the Chrysler at all, but that thing was pretty freaking quick for being... I don't know, that thing did burnouts, believe it or not, I, I blew up an axle, or a, not an axle, but a CV axle in that thing, doing a burnout, <laughs> but we sold it to my dad's friend's son, and yeah, I guess the gas tank fell out of it when he was driving it, or something like that, that so it was a nice car, it was just really rotted, but the thing freaking moved, like, it was pretty fast, but those are the cars that I've owned in the past, ones I'd like to own in the future. Um, obviously this, but with the diesel, so a 7.3. Uh, I'd like to have this car right here. 
one of these right here. I'd like to have one of these, but really nice with these rims, with T-tops, black on black with all the gold pinstriping. So basically a turbo Trans Am, but without the turbo motor because they were slow as hell. I'd probably put like a 400, Pontiac 400 in it or something. So I'd like to have one of those. I'd like to have a new Z06, but by the time I get enough money to actually buy one of those, they won't be new anymore. So probably one of those. I, I have really no desire to own anything really faster than that. Like I don't really feel the need to have a Lamborghini or a McLaren or anything like that because I honestly feel like I'd be too scared to drive something like that with it just having that price tag on it. Uh, if, if like the littlest thing happened to it, like a little scratch on it, dude, I'd be freaking pissed. So I don't know, pretty much that just like a new Corvette, which I, I never really liked Corvettes to be completely honest with you. I always thought Corvettes were just way too, they didn't have like a whole lot of styling to them, which I mean, if you look at a Corvette, the side profile is just like this, like that, that's all it is. There's not a whole lot of style to them. Um, now the C7, the brand new one that came out in like 2015, that one completely changed my mind. I absolutely love that one. But like a C6 or a C5, I've never really been big fans of those. The older ones are cool, but I'd never own one. Like a, I don't know, like a 50s one or a 60s one. I'd, I'd never own one of those just cause I'm not really a huge fan of them, but I don't really need anything more expensive than that like i said i i don't know i'm perfectly cool with my truck to be honest with you like ever since i was a little kid i remember i was thinking about this the other day i used to go on craigslist when i was like in fifth grade and just look up lifted trucks and see if there are any that i could buy with my birthday money <laughs> so i'd have like 700 bucks or like because well i didn't get 700 bucks for my birthday but that would be like between at one point i had a four-wheeler that i sold and I had like birth, like Christmas, and then my birthday's in February. So if I saved up from when I sold the four wheeler, Christmas and my birthday, I think I had like a thousand bucks or something like that. So me in fifth grade was looking for lifted trucks. I didn't end up buying one, obviously, but I don't know. It's just kind of been my dream to have a lifted truck. I remember that. I I remember very vividly when I was probably like eight years old. There was a guy. I don't remember what kind of truck it was, if it was a Ford, Chevy, whatever, but he had a flagpole, it was a big lifted truck, had a flagpole with the, uh, with the, you know, rebel flag on it, and it said redneck, and I was like, mom, look at that, I was like, I want to be like that guy, like literally those, those, that's what I said, is I want to be like that guy, so, I mean, I guess dreams really do come true, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I answered some of your questions. If you had questions that you asked, sorry if you asked a question after I made the video. Like, if you just, if you just, you know, commented a question and I already made the video and the video is already up, then I apologize for that. But, yeah, so make sure to follow my social media on the screen now. Subscribe if you are new. We will have a whole lot of mods coming soon. Solid axle swap is coming. Don't worry. It's coming. Just not right now. But we're going to be doing the exhaust. We're going to be doing the rear bumper. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of other shit very shortly. And I really want to buy a dirt bike. Yeah. That's that's kind of the other thing. Like, <laughs> Yes, I want to do all this stuff. But at the same time, I really want a new dirt bike. And a new bike is like eight grand. So I'd be financing it. I wouldn't go spending cash for it um, because I still need some money to be able to <laughs> do stuff to the truck. So, but yeah, I just really want to get a new dirt bike. It's just kind of my thing. I'm thinking like a 252 stroke KTM because I was looking at Hondas because I had a Honda before and now I'm just rambling at this point. So you can click off if you want, but <laughs> I, ha I had a 150 CC Honda and that thing was fun and all, but it wasn't enough power for me. So I uh, I sold it with, and I was gonna use that money to buy a bigger bike, 
but then I just didn't. So <laughs> I just didn't buy a bigger bike. So it's been a couple of years now since I've had a dirt bike. And well, I guess that's the longest time that I've ever been without having a dirt bike. So I really want to get another one, but a new KTM, like I said, it would, it would match the truck perfect. You know, the orange truck, the orange bike, but they're like a thousand bucks or more, like a little bit over that. I think something like that uh, to the comparable Honda bike that I could get. So I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. When it comes down to monthly payments though, I believe that, uh, if I put three grand down on an $8,000 bike, my monthly payment would be right around 150. Um, so 150 a month is completely doable. Um, but I don't know, the Honda would be like 130 a month. So really it's not a big difference. It's like 20 bucks more a month if I went with a Honda instead of a KTM, so I might as well just get the KTM. But this is all speculation, I'm just thinking about it because I just, you know, like the weather's nice out and I just wanna go ride dirt bikes, so, and it would match the trucks, so, yeah. I guess that's pretty much it. That's enough rambling for today, like I said. Like, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and we'll have a whole bunch more stuff coming. We're gonna be releasing another wheeling video soon. Um, Basically, this month is inspection month, so I'm trying to keep the truck clean. <laughs> but we will be doing another wheeling video pretty soon. I'm kind of itching to get out there and do some more of that stuff. So, alrighty guys. Thank you all for watching. And